Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, springtime, finally, and uh, I'm able to get out here in the backyard and do some astrophotography. But um, this video is going to be uh, finally a review of my mount. So please stick around and uh, let's get into the video. So finally, I'm doing a review on my mount. The Explore Scientific IEXOS 100 PMC 8. Um, the video that I did, the unboxing, has gotten tremendous, tremendous amount of, uh, of views. And uh, <laughs> the dogs are playing in the backyard. But uh, I thank each and every one of you for checking out that video. And if you haven't, I'll post it in the comments and the description down below. And uh, yeah, so I've had this mount almost a year. Um, I think I got it last June. I'll have to double check that. But... Um, I have to say, I've been, uh, I've been thoroughly impressed with this mount. Uh, this mount has performed flawlessly. Uh, does it have its quirks? Yeah, of course. But um, for the most part, it's, uh, it's basically what I've wanted in a portable mount. Um, tear down and setup is really, really easy. Um, now, setting it up initially uh, was... A little bit of a pain uh, I wouldn't say pain but I mean it was a little bit of a challenge because one of the uh, one of the screws that are in the uh, the alt as um, adapter that that comes separately but I got it as a package so it came with it um, there's a there was a screw there that it was so small and so tiny and I had the proper at the proper tool for it it um, it completely stripped, so I basically had to drill it out and uh, kind of grind it down in order for for this uh, that that adapter to fit on the mount. Um, so Explore Scientific, uh, I hope you fix the problem. Um, if not, eh, oh well, what are you gonna do? But um, guiding with this mount is uh, it's been very very easy. Um, I'm, I usually get in between 0.6 and 1.7 arc minutes or arc seconds for total air and guiding, whatever you want to call it. And um, the stars are nice and round and all that. Um, it's a very smooth mount. It's belt driven. Uh, I'm not going to go into technical aspects of it. Um, I'm just giving my feedback on what I think this mount has done, for, well, what it's done for me and uh, what it might do for you too. Um, it can handle up to about 16 pounds of weight. Um, I got two counterweights there um, and I got a little little extra stuff on the uh, on the end just to, just to help with the balancing and I have some tire weights as well, just wrapped around the outside circumference of each counterweight. So uh, that also helps with uh, with achieving balance. So um, yeah, all in all, it's been a great mount. One thing I really, really like about this mount is the sound that it makes when it slews. Um, 
um, it's, it's just a, sa a totally satisfying sound. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, actually, a friend of mine has the exact same mount as this one, and he basically, you know, sold me on this one. So that's why I got this one. Um, as I said before, um, I got it as a package. So it came with the mount, counterweight, the Altazimuth uh, adjustment or adapter, and th this. I got it plugged into stuff here so I can't really raise it. It's a, uh, it's a lithium ion battery um, and uh, it's got uh, a USB port on it. And that's what I have hooked up to here is uh, right to my uh, portable router. Um, so when I'm out in the field, I can control everything with my tablet by connecting through the uh, the portable uh, hotspot slash router. So that's another uh, another great feature that it ha that it has. I can control everything wirelessly if I so choose, kind of like um, the ASI Air except also I'm using a mini PC instead of the ASI Air. Um, the ASI Air are great, um, they, uh, but the, with the, the ASI Air, it, it kind of holds you into the whole ZWO ecosystem, with, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I want to be able to use different, different equipment, uh, such as this QHY guide camera. Um, if I had an ASI Air, I wouldn't be able to use it. I'd have to use an ASI Air guide camera. But anyway, um, what else can I say about this? It's light. It's very portable. I can basically keep, if I'm, if I'm shooting at home, I can basically keep it in this configuration. All I just got to do is unplug a few things and uh, wrap it around the scope. And I can either put it in my garage or I can bring it back downstairs. And then, uh, and then when I'm going to use it again, I just bring it back out all in one shot. So basically, setup when I'm at home, setup is nothing. Setup is like minutes, um, and that is something that I wanted in a mount slash scope uh, setup. I wanted uh, ease of use um, and portability. So um, those two check marks, those two boxes were check marked definitely with this mount. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much it weighs, like, total. I, this whole setup probably weighs maybe 30 pounds, if that. Maybe maybe 35 pounds. I haven't really weighed it. But, I mean, I, I can pick it up with ease, and I can move it anywhere in the backyard if I need to. Um, now, uh, one gripe slash concern I have is the polar alignment now it doesn't come with a polar scope um, I guess you can get one of the polar scopes that Explore Scientific has that attach to the side of the mount or your your uh, your scope and uh, you can do it that way or you can do it uh, electronically through let's say the IS ASI Air or even Nina's three-point polar alignment and that's what I use I use the three-point polar alignment um, it is extremely, I find, extremely finicky uh, when, when doing polar alignment. Now, partially, that comes down to me as well. I, I do tend to rush things um, when doing polar alignment, um, and I, I shouldn't. I should just slow down, make minor adjustments, but I want to get as much time under the clear sky as possible. So with that, I just have to slow down. But I mean, it is very, very finicky in, in the adjustments, like just a small adjustment. And uh, you know what? I'm probably sure that goes with any kind of mount or any kind of um, procedure that you're going to do for polar alignment. Um, but just once you get close, um, you have to really start making very, very small adjustments. Um, but that is my really my only gripe slash concern with this mount. Um, now, other than that, like I said, the mount is flawless, 
performs flawlessly. Um, love the sound. And uh, I would highly recommend anybody to get this mount. I think they discontinued this version of mount. Now they, they have the same kind of mount, but it's a different version, I believe. Um, and uh, but I would I would definitely highly recommend this mount to anybody that's starting off. And actually, this would I would consider this a starting a starter mount. Um, now you can't really put more than about 16 pounds of weight on this. So um, the the Schmidt cast grain that I used to have the the Celestron C8 or the the 8SE. Uh, it wouldn't fit on this. It, it would be too much, and plus the um, the uh, the adapter that uh, that holds the scope to the mount, um, it's uh, it's not big enough. You'd need a Lost Mandy one instead of a uh, a dovetail. So, um, but yeah, other than that, this mount has been a really really dependable piece of uh, machinery and of an awesome investment. So um, I hope you enjoyed this review. It's not as in-depth as most people do for reviews, but I'm not technical, so I don't go get into the technicalities of specific products or anything like that. Um, I just try and tell you, the viewer, my experience with it and if I would recommend it to somebody starting out. and. I would give it two thumbs up for that. So um, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll be seeing you here throughout the summer. I'm going to be making more content. If you like the content here, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. That really helps my channel out a lot. And again, thank you, thank you so much for all the attention that the unboxing of this mount got and has been getting. So, uh, yeah. So here's Everett signing off, and we'll see you under the stars. Clear skies, everybody. Thanks a lot.